Simpsons are here at Tribeca? We are here at Tribeca. What are the Simpsons doing at Tribeca? I don't know. I missed the fancy Robert De Niro lunch on Thursday, so I'm sad about that. Because that seemed like the most A-list event of the whole day. Um, why are we here? I guess it's 30 years, right? Everyone's excited about that number. Longest running, prime time, scripted, funny, or some dramatic show, probably, right? That's the record. And... You know, we've got generations of fans now, and so we just want to celebrate that this is like a multi-generational brand. <laughs> We're here to celebrate the brand. Yeah. Everything's brands these days, right? Tribeca Festival. But, you know, I just, I'm so personally proud that this is a show that now, like, kids are discovering, and they watch it with their parents. who They, they watched it when they were kids, and it's like this thing that brings them together as a family. Because everyone's got a family. The Simpsons is about a messed up family, but at the end of the day, they love each other. And everyone's family is hopefully, sadly messed up. Hopefully, they, at the end of the day, they love each other. And that's like that's what's exciting for us, and why that's why we're still here after 30 years. Well, I think the characters, and like you said, everyone's got a messed up family. They're so relatable. I hope so. But after 30 years and more than what 300 plus episodes, how how does everybody keep it fresh? How do you keep the story moving forward? You just don't think about. <clears throat> You just don't think about what you've already done. You just start over every week, like Groundhog Day. Like, none of that happened. The world is changing. Our lives change. We get older. New, new things happen to us that make us sad or happy or angry that you, or, there, or laugh. And you can always do stories about those things. Like, society is offering no shortage of crazy things of which to portray in cartoon form. Do you ever go back and look I wish the I wish the world would no longer need the Simpsons and that the world was not was boring and not changing. But uh it's not happening. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you ever go back and watch episodes and say, oh I can't believe we did that. I can't believe we got away with that. We went too far. We didn't go far enough. Yes. But I won't share those specifics, but there are certainly some gems from the past that are from an earlier age. And what can we expect next from the world's favorite family? Well, we're about to be sucked into Disney. That's super exciting. We're on this thing called the Disney Plus app. We're going to be streaming exclusively on that for $6.99 a month. A bargain. And, you know, I think that's part of the family thing I was saying earlier that, like, you know, Disney's the ultimate family brand, but they've included us in that family. Hopefully we'll be the kind of edgy, weird, older brother in the family, we'll be the Bart of the Disney brand, and you know, people that come to Disney for all the other stuff will want to stick around and see us, and again, watch it as a multi-generational experience. God, I sound like a shill. Five out of five shill points, but I really believe that it's just cool. I mean, if the world is all going to be owned by one corporation, might as well be Disney. Excellent. Final question for okay. you. There have been so many celebrities that have yes. made guest appearances. Oh yes. For you, who is the white whale? Who we haven't gotten? Yeah. Well, I wish, I would love to see John Cleese on the show. And he probably would have done it if we'd asked him, but we forgot. Sorry, John. Please do the show.